and Mary sandwiching away. It's peaceful. But no picnic is a picnic oh without a remote control car! No, I didn't bring any toys with me today. Okay guys, so I didn't bring my camera. I left it in the car, so I'm using uh, the phone right now, but I just found the Captain America from Endgame, a uh, couple from the Ant-Man and Wasp wave. Um, you have all these guys down here, all those characters, and then got the two packs down here, looking good. So I went ahead and grabbed me one, and I also grabbed me an Ebony Ma. Let me see Ebony Ma, guys. Oh yeah, he's definitely the first one I'm getting. And the two pack I'm taking with me. So my hunt for this weekend is done, right guys? Also before I go, they got the new um, Starscream here. And he looks pretty good. I like the way he looks. Got some more studio series, got a Rampage here. Well, they're all Rampage. It looks good. Then we got a Bumblebee. Oh, I'm sorry, not Bumblebee. I thought that was Bumblebee. Construction Scrap Metal. And then, of course, Studio Series Megatron. Look at that beast of a figure. That looks cool. But other than that, that's all it for the bots. Got more Legends over here. Uh, Captain Marvel, Captain Marvel, Shazam. I really want to get the Shazam figure before I see the movie because I know I'm gonna want it after I see the movie. Got more Captain Marvel up there. The Red Skull. I need to find him on clearance. But other than that, I am set to go. I don't know, Batman! I don't know where they are! I don't know! I don't know! Oh! I said stop! Oh. No more! Oh! No more, please! Please don't! Are you done? Oh! Finally have him, Chloe. <laughs> Finally have Corvius Glaive to go on the shelf next to Thanos on the MCU display. There we have Corvius' staff. Very cool. Very, very cool indeed. Yeah, very cool. Known for his shifting allegiances. Hopefully I pronounced that right. Loki faces evil head-on when he is confronted by the Black Order, a sinister group of Thanos cohorts that includes the menacing Corvius Glaive. It's Corvus Glaive. I thought it was Corvius Glaive. Guess not. So I'm gonna go ahead and add these on the shelf. Okay, so you hold Loki. Okay. And you hold Corvus. Okay. We'll keep the spear right here so we don't drop it. We have to move someone off of this mountain so we can move Corvius up there. So we have to make some room. So I'm thinking we could put Corvus somewhere over here. I think he'll fit right next to Thanos. Let's do it. Cool. So I had to um, move it around a bit, make some rearrangements. But I have Corvus Glaive right there. Stuck Loki next to Thor. Put the Black Order, most of it on top. Thanos at the bottom here with Cap and Iron Man. I had to move Nebula and Gamora over there next to each other. And Spider-Man down here. We got Black Panther down here. So now comes this baby. Yeah. 
I don't know why they waited so long just to release this guy in Corvus Glaive. Why weren't they in Wave 1? You know what I mean? Why'd they mess around? Why'd they even put Songbird in there? And um, whoever else was in there that we didn't really need. Oh, here we go. Ah, let's see how you smell, Ebony. Smells so new. Yeah. Dude, he is so awesome. I think he needs a little paint on his hair though. Isn't his hair white in the movie? Right? So I don't think it would hurt to add a little, a little bit of white and uh, maybe some black wash on his head. But other than that, he looks really good. Got Squidward here. This was the most desired one, um, at least for me, to get from the Black Order. So let's go ahead and get him on the shelf. Ebony Ma, Corvus Glaive, Loki, the God of Mischief. The Black Order is now officially complete. Hey! So the Black Order is officially complete after a year of waiting to get all of these guys together on my shelf. And tell me what you guys think of the new Black Order setup on my shelf. Oh.